Okay guys, I'm going to show you today how to get yourselves logged into the Player Pro and set up your username and password. Now, you need to pay very close attention to every step that I'm going to show you. It's very simple to do, but it's all, all, always simple to make a mistake as well, so just pay very close attention. So if you do not have this perfect Player Pro app, which you see right here, um, just get with me and I'll show you exactly where to download it. I can send it to you in your email, however, but it's very simple to get onto your device. But all you're going to do is select the Perfect Player Pro. Uh, you will give it a second. Obviously, it's going to try and load, but there is nothing here to load. This is not connected to Wi-Fi. This is just for uh, training purposes. Okay. So in this case, all you're going to do is hit this back button on your remote one time and you'll see this menu populate at the top of the screen. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this gear right here on the top right. Okay, and when you select the gear, you'll see it gives you a list of options. You have general, GUI, playback, advanced, and defaults. So the very first thing we're going to select is general. And in general, you'll see it has a bunch of different listings. Now, the most important listing we need to look at is playlist number one and EPG number one. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come into playlist number one, and this is what you're going to enter. Now, if you have a keyboard, uh, keyboard is obviously the fastest way to enter this. If not, you've got to use the remote. Uh, it will take a few seconds longer. But what you're going to enter is HTTP, the semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, 51.15.8.209, forward slash, git, dot PHP, question mark, username equals. Now, this is what's important. Where it says username equals and it says AAA in this example, that is going to be where you insert your username. So whatever username I had sent you, that's where you're going to enter it. Make sure you enter it in the same way uh, I send it to you, caps and all. Then you're going, after you're done putting in your username, you're going to put the and symbol. And then you're going to type password equals. And then you're going to enter the password that I sent you to replace the BBB. So you would enter the password exactly the way I sent it to you. And then you're going to put the and symbol again type equals m3u underscore plus. Okay, now it's very, very pertinent that this is exactly the way that you see it on the screen with the triple A and the triple B replaced with your username and your password. We want to make sure that m3u is still selected and we want to make sure we hit OK when done. So all you're going to do once you're done using the keyboard here is you're going to click the back button one time on your remote and it'll bring you to just this box by itself and you just come down here to OK and select OK. Now you're going to go to EPG and what you're going to type in here is very simple. It's HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash rebrand dot ly forward slash lentech tv pro okay so very 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 simple to, to put in right here okay once you're done with that you'll hit the back button again and all you're going to do is make sure xml tv is selected and once you know that it's selected you're going to come down to this little down arrow hit OK and make sure download once a day is selected. It will start off with download if no data on current date, but just make sure download once a day is selected and hit OK. Okay. Now we will hit the back button one time and we will come down to playback. And in playback, you just want to make sure that the decoder it will start off on native. You want to make sure it's selected to hardware. Okay. Once this is done, you hit the back button once, back button twice, and then what I want you to do is go ahead and hit this little loading symbol, the little circle with the arrows on it. And once you do that, 
it will update the whole entire channel listing to your username and password. You will see a little white bar in the top right corner of the screen load. And what you will notice is all the channels will load after just a few minutes. And you can start scrolling through and selecting your channels. So that is the basics of how to connect your Player Pro with your username and password.